Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So it's the end of the month. I had a little bit of time to shoot a video, so I thought I would do a few things. I am going to talk about some favorites since it's the end of the month. I'm going to talk about a couple of things I got that are new that I'm really, really loving, so I think they're worth chit-chatting about. And um, I'm also going to talk about uh, an Estee Lauder gift with purchase because that has started and it goes through the 8th of August at Neiman Marcus. So I thought I would do a quick talk about that. So um, Estee Lauder does this a couple times a year. They are back in gift with purchase at Neiman Marcus. Um, and they are one of the few brands who actually do a inexpensive gift with purchase, relatively inexpensive, for Neiman Marcus. So the spend requirement is only $80 to get the Estee Lauder gift. And the gift is really good in my opinion. So this time if you spend the $80 on Estee Lauder products you get this bag which is a nice big bag for travel. I actually think it's pretty. It's um, you know like a dusty mauve and a little peachy, some rose in there. It's a good hard canvas bag with a zipper and it's big so you could travel with this and I think have plenty of room. This is actually probably too big for my makeup when I travel but I could get all of my other toiletries in here, shampoos, lotions and that kind of thing. So this is the bag. What comes in the bag you ask? Um, of course an advanced night repair because Estee Lauder does every gift with an advanced night repair and I will say this is a lovely serum that I really enjoy using and you can use it day or night. I know it says night repair but when I use it, I use it both day and night. You also get um, a Renutriv moisturizer. The Renutriv is their higher end uh, anti-aging line, Ultimate Lift Regeneration Youth Cream and you get a nice good size of that. You also get the Renutriv eye cream, right? Yes. Yes, the eye cream to go with it. So great for traveling. You get a full size Estee Lauder mascara. Let me make sure it's in extreme black and it is the sumptuous extreme. So this is their, um, you know, really plumping mascara. I actually really like this mascara. Full size. You also get a lipstick from Estee Lauder. Um, it's red. Not everybody is red, but it is red. I say if you get the gift and you're not a fan of the lipstick, you can always give it away or with a lot of the reds that I get, because it's rare that I wear a red, I just, like, if you want a little color, just put your finger in it and kind of put it on your dry, on a dry lip. And, you know, you just get sort of this hint of red berry, which makes it very wearable for everybody. And then you get a choice of one of three Erin fragrances. Um, for those of you who don't know, Erin Lauder is Estee's daughter, and she has her own line. And are these bottles not the cutest? So you get your choice of one of these. And the fragrances that you have to choose from while supplies last, I will say that, is Mediterranean Honeysuckle, Hibiscus Palm. This one is very new, um, very beachy scented. And the other one is Tuberose uh, Le Jour. So these are all very popular scents um, from Estee. And I think the bottles are just so cute. So you get everything, you get the bag, you get everything in it, and a choice of one of these for 80 bucks. So if you need any Estee Lauder, I will put my information below. Um, you can call me, I'm happy to help you. I can ship it right out to you. Shipping's always free. Uh, there you go for that. Also, if you spend 125, there is a scarf. Um, there are very few of those, but if there's any left, there's a scarf. It is like a cream and I think like lilac. I will uh, try to post a picture here. So that's the scarf with a 125 purchase. Um, supplies of that are very, very limited, so I don't know how many of those are going to be left. But the bag will be left for a while. Um, I will put a link where you can get it if you want to go straight to the website to get it, or if you want to call me, I'm happy to help you. So, Let's move on. I thought next I would talk about some of my favorites and then we'll jump into some new things I tried. I'm going to again talk about one of my favorite candles because it's changed a little bit. I talked about this company a while ago. Um, you guys, anybody who's watched me for any length of time or follows me on Instagram knows I love my coffee. Love it. And a good coffee candle for me in my home is a must. 
I don't like hazelnut coffee, vanilla coffee, mocha coffee. I don't like any of that. I like a straight coffee scent. No sweetness to my scent and it's very hard to find that. Most coffee candles have a sweet vanilla note to them and I don't like that burning in my house. This one is straight up coffee. And this candle used to be in a taller jar with a single wick. Now it's in a shorter jar with three wicks. I don't think the price has changed either. Um, I will put the link to this website. I'm not affiliated with them. They're a local, uh, not local to me, they're a small operation based out of Michigan. They, um, their candles are very, very, uh, priced very well. 10 or 12 dollars I think for this one this size. I love these um, candles. I love the coffee smell of these candles so I highly recommend these and I will put the name of the company here because I think it's changed from what it used to be and I will also put a link to where you can get them. Again not affiliated I get nothing for it except that I love it and if you are a coffee lover like me and you want a straight up coffee candle this is it. Uh, he, uh, I commented on on one of his candles on Instagram about how I loved it because it wasn't sweet or anything and he said they were working on a Colombian coffee scent so I'm very excited about that to happen as well okay moving on I've got some favorite hair products I'm going to talk about that I haven't talked about before I don't think the first one is for my hair treatment um, not treatment but styling product I um, we sell R & Co at my store so I've had the opportunity to try a couple of things this R & Co high dive moisture cream shine is what I love to use as my styling product before I blow dry it's what I use today um, plunge into deep hydration and reflective shine with high dive formulated to smooth and seal the hair moisturizes softens and drowns out frizz work through tile dried hair and air dry or blow dry also doubles as a leave-in conditioner I love this stuff it my hair is so smooth I'm trying to see if the price point is still there yeah it runs $29 they also have something I forget the name of it and I have it but for the life of me I can't find the tube that's more of like a blowout cream it might be called blowout or something I'll put that name here as well I own that. I don't like that as much as this. I think it works really well. But this gives my hair shine. Uh, it's not. I'm not frizzy. It doesn't feel dry. I love it. And I have blonde hair, so I'm always looking for something to help with the frizzies and keeping it shiny. Love, love this. Again, R & Co. High Dive. And I think they might sell R & Co. at Sephora as well. Love. And then you guys know that my favorite hairspray was discontinued and so many of you sent me suggestions and I've tried some of them, not all of them yet, but I did find a hairspray that I love and I've been using it for a while now. It's what I have in my hair today and it is from the brand Amica. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that. My salon actually, one of the salons I go to actually sells this brand so I had the opportunity to try it and I like the Fluxus Amica Fluxus, which is their touchable hairspray, so it's more of a medium hold. And it does give you hold. More hold, I think, than the Soy Touchable that I loved. This smells divine. I don't like a lot of scent in my hairspray, but this smells amazing. So Amica Fluxus. This is my new go-to hairspray for now. I am still going to try a few more, but I love, love this. I love the packaging, too. But the hairspray works amazing for me. It is a touchable medium hold. So if you like that really stiff hold, you're not going to like this. But for me, like it holds my curls. I don't get frizzy. I'm, you know, you can still touch it. It doesn't feel crunchy. But when, when it's humid here, my curls still hold, which I think says a lot for this product. Um, I don't know much about this brand, Amika, but I love this. I also tried, so the person at my salon su suggested, because um, I was looking for like a dry shampoo, I don't really need a dry shampoo, but something to give me volume when I'm feeling flat. So she recommended the um, Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. So this is just something you spray through your hair if you want a little more lift or if you're going to put it up and you want some texture to the hair. Um, 
I love this. It also smells wonderful just like this does. And I even saw Lisa, 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 do you want to talk about this? So she's using it too and loving it. So this is my second, um, actually, can of this that I've gone through. So when I wear my hair straight, it can be a little bit um, flat because I have very fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine. This really does help give me a lot more volume by just spraying it through. And you are going to feel it a little, but it doesn't have that heavy, my hair is dirty texture but it does the job and I really like it. So Hairspray Fluxus and Amika Undone for a little more volume. I didn't use this today. When my, I wear my hair curly like this, I feel like I got enough volume. Um, but if you're a big volume girl, you'll love this stuff too. So those are favorites for me as well. Do I have any other favorites? The rest of the things I'm gonna talk about are new things I tried mostly I'm going to talk about them because I love them. I have not bought much recently. I did not indulge in the Nordstrom sale yet, but I just I don't really need much right now and I've been kind of careful about the things that I'm buying because I don't know, I have such a backstock of things that I'm just trying to clear it out. I want to have less things around and everything I have around I want to really love it. So I haven't bought a lot, but these few things I bought and I really do enjoy, so I thought I would talk about them. The first one is, oh gosh, I gotta be able to read this. The first product I'm gonna talk about is the mascara. And I see this mascara all over social media, maybe because of some of the accounts I follow and that kind of thing, but I'm sure you've all, you guys have all seen Thrive Cosmetics um, ads and stuff like that. So I bought the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara and this, I don't know if they make more than one, but this is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mastic Mascara, which gives length and volume. This stuff is really awesome. I it doesn't feel thick like when you use La Volume, it's sort of that clumpy feel. So it, you know, and so you know you're getting quite a bit of volume from it. This one comes with a little, a smaller brush it is uh, still a plastic, is it a plastic wand? I think it's a plastic wand. It's sort of, it feels like a plastic wand. I have been using this uh, for a few weeks now and I really, really love it. I think it gives me great length and volume. Not as much as Chanel La Volume would give me but still enough for every day. It's very comfortable and when I use this, my lashes actually stay curled up. Whereas when I use La Volume, they fall during the day very, very quickly. So I'm not sure what's in this that helps with that, um, but it's really, really great. And I would just wanna say it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's paraben and sulfate free and toxin free, which is one of the great things about using something from Thrive Cosmetics. Most of the vegan mascaras and, and cruelty-free mascaras that I've tried have not been very good for me. This one is amazing. I will say it's slightly challenging to remove it. You gotta give it a couple of extra seconds with your uh, remover, but it does come off and I do love it. I don't get any flaking, I don't get any transfer. It's black, black. You should give it a shot. I also tried, I wanted to talk about it, I did buy a few things from Nordstrom, but they none of them were part of the Nordstrom sale. The first, they were all our glass cosmetics. The first one is the new mascara, which you know is touted as this. What is it called? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's called caution or something. It's nice. Here's the brush. It's more of a traditional brush, and it has a thinner end, which allows you to sort of get close to the inside you know, get all those little lashes. This is a nice mascara. I don't prefer this over Chanel La Volume. It's nice, it's, but it's, it's just nice for me. I prefer La Volume to this. Um, and I prefer this Thrive Mascara to both of those. So, love. This is okay. I definitely would not repurchase, definitely not. I, the reason I ordered from Nordstrom was because I wanted one of these little hourglass eye palettes. And I think right now they're exclusive to Nordstrom's because I couldn't find them anywhere else. So I bought the matte, what are they, five pan, five pan palette in Myth. I love it. 
I really do love it. Hourglass eyeshadows are very nice. I've used them in the past. I didn't buy any of the palettes, you know, where they're all sort of merged together. I, that's maybe my little OCD brain doesn't like that, but I didn't buy any of those. But I bought this one because it's all matte. I really, really like it. I think it's great. It's what I have on my eyes today. It stays really well. The, I think the shadows blend very nicely. Matte shadows sometimes can be a challenge when you're blending. These are great, really great. I think it's um, I think it's uh, exclusive to Nordstrom right now. I don't know if that's a permanent thing, but I do recommend these. This is a palette that you could use every day because it's um, it's very neutral. You know, there's even it's not too too warm for any anybody to use. I could travel with this because I could do a nice smoky eye because um, they are this is deep enough. If you like like a black shadow, there's no black shadow in here, but I feel like it's deep enough for me. It's what I have on today, and my my shadow's pretty deep. So um, loving this. I also picked up the hourglass, the small container of the hourglass veil loose powder. I like this. Uh, I did a little comparison between this and my Laura Mercier translucent loose powder. I don't know if there's a price difference between the two or not. I would say this is night, really nice. I would say they're very similar. This is slightly finer, slightly finer milled, slightly. But if I were to put it on half my face and the Laura Mercy on the other half, I'm not sure I would notice a difference in performance or anything like that. This is maybe a hint, a hint brighter because it has a little bit more, uh, I'm gonna, it has a little bit more, I don't know if you can tell because it's a little cloudy outside, it has a little more yellow, it's not yellow, but it has a little more yellow tone to it. So I think it gives ever so slightly a little more brightness, so if you use the this to set your concealer under your eye, this might give you just a hint more brightness. I don't know that I think it's woefully better than the Laura Mercier, the Laura Mercier at all. I don't know what the, about the price point of the bigger ones, but I do like this very much, very much. I also got a little goodie bag from Gift with Purchase from them from Nordstrom from Hourglass, and in it was the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now, I have used this primer in the past many, many times. I purchased many, many of them, but at a certain point, I felt like I wanted something different. I wanted more help with concealing pores and that kind of thing, so I moved away from it. And I'm using this again, and I feel like the formula might be a little bit different than it was before in a good way, because I feel like this Hourglass Veil now does help with pores more than it used to. So I don't know if any of you know if they tweaked the formula a little bit, but I've been using this now uh, for about a week and almost every day when I go to work someone will say oh my gosh what are you doing your skin looks amazing and the only thing I've really changed is this so I don't know if this is doing something or not but I might now buy a full size because I do I think it's great and I don't know so let me know in the comments if you know if this has changed it's been a couple years probably since I've used it so let me know what you think of that uh, the last thing I think I'm going to, no, I'm going to talk about one other thing at the end, but the last thing I'm going to talk about, um, from a favorites perspective is I did purchase, and this has probably been a month, I purchased one of the little Vizart palettes, and I don't think I've talked about this yet, but I purchased Minx. I've wanted one of these theory palettes for a long time, and I've wanted the one in Minx because these colors are my perfect colors. Um, the Minx colors... The, minx, the colors in the minks are this. You get three shimmers and three mattes. They're amazing, just like all my Vizart shadows are. They're amazing. I love them. You can do so many eye... Uh, like, you could travel with this, and this is all you're going to need. And it's tiny. I mean, the palette itself is teeny tiny, but the shadows are not tiny. There are full-size shadows in there. So I love this idea. Um... And look, like this right here is an eye look, right? And if you wanted some shimmer on the lid, you could do that. You could do a great smoky in here. It's nice and warm. I can't say enough good things about these. If you don't own a Vizart palette, 
and you don't want to bite the bullet and buy one of the big ones, which isn't for everybody for sure, this is really amazing. And then these pop out, so if you run out of one, I think you can order just the colors that you need, or you can swap among other palettes that you, other Vizart palettes that you have. So I think these are a really great deal. The last thing I'm going to talk very quickly about is um, I ordered because I wanted to try the Magic Brush Air Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation. So I, there's ads for this all over the place, and you get a little kit where it comes with the spray primer, the spray foundation, and a brush. So this is like the Dior Air Flash. Dior makes one of these as well. Dior makes a brush like this as well. This was very inexpensive though, so I ordered it to give it a shot. Here's what I have to say about it. The brush I love <laughs> for putting powder on, buffing mineral powder on, putting any kind of foundation on. This is an amazing brush. So it might have been worth the price just for the brush for me. This is makes the foundation makes your skin look beautiful. So smooth. But for me, it breaks down so quickly in my T-zone that I can't really wear it because it's hard to touch up this during the day. But when you first put it on, the coverage is much higher than you think for a spray foundation. And the idea is you spray it on the brush. That's how I applied it. I don't really like to spray it right on the face. That was too much for me. So if this lasted longer, I would love it. But for me, it doesn't wear very long in my T-zone. And I did try it with their primer. This is a spray primer. I did the primer on the face straight. I did the primer on the brush and then on the face. Um, that didn't help it. I tried other primers. I tried a mattifying primer for the T-zone. Nothing seems to work, to, sorry, to keep this on. So for me, it's a little bit of a fail, which is unfortunate because it's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the Dior one. Sephora has, I believe, discontinued their version of that. I'm going to buy the Dior one and see if the Dior one will last longer in my T-zone because I do love, like, the way this looks when I first put it on. It's amazing. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. It's so lightweight. You don't feel like you're wearing any makeup, but it covers everything. But then, like, two and a half, three hours later, like, my whole T-zone is a, a hot mess, which is a no for me, so... I don't recommend this if you have an oily T-zone. If you have super dry skin, you might want to try it. I don't know. I do love the brush, though. It's soft. It's great for... I mean, I've put on my... Um, right now, my favorite foundation is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I put this on with it. I put my Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude on with it. Um, I've put Mineral Foundation, where I'm just buffing powder foundation, on with it. I really like it, I have to say. So uh, if you bought this, let me know what you think. Or if you use the Air Dior Air Flash, let me know if that stays on a little bit better. That, I think, is all I wanted to talk about for today. Uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Also, uh, just a little reminder, if you're interested in the Estee Lauder thing, I will put a link to uh, where you can get it on the Neiman Marcus website. Or you can call me. I'll put my information below. Feel free to call or text me. Um, and I'm happy to help you with that as well. This goes on until the 8th of August, I believe, or while supplies last for the gift, but we have quite a few of these gifts. So that is it for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I will talk I to you forgot. again I did want to mention, I wore these earrings in a previous video, and so many of you guys asked about them. So these are relatively new to me. I've had them for a few months now. They are um, a Cheryl Lowe design. Um, and I will put a link to them below if I can find them if you're interested in them So they just hook in the ear with this big long and they're just a very lightweight cross They come in gold or silver. Uh, I might still be able to find this gunmetal color um, I love these when you have these on you don't first of all because they're so long you don't have to worry about them falling out they go in very very easily you don't even feel like you have anything on because they're so lightweight they are uh, the real deal they're not um, a costume item so the price point is a little bit higher depending on if you get them in silver or gold or whatever uh, but if you're interested you can contact me and I will locate a pair for you as well or if I can find a link to them I will put that below as well I highly recommend these if you're looking for 
a really cool sort of cross earring. Um, today I have them both on. Some days I wear just one and then like a diamond stud over here. Um, they are, you know, they're very, um, they're a little bit edgy looking, I think, in the gunmetal color that I wear, and I like that about them. So, so many of you asked about them, I thought I would mention that today. So that is it for today. Thanks everyone, I'll talk to you soon.